Sitting in Taijong on a parcel of land, um, no bigger than 5,500 square feet, or about 500 square meters, is a little city called Rainbow Village. The area sits in what is now a newly renovated housing district. At the original point, it had 1,200 homes. At current times, though, there are 11 homes that are left standing. Everything else has been demolished, except for one man's home, Mr. Huang Yang Fu. This area was built up in the 1940s and the 1950s when the Kuomintang, the KMT, came from mainland China after the Chinese Civil War that happened with the Communist Party. Mr. Huang Yun Fu, born in 1924 and originally from Hong Kong, came over with Chiang Kai-shek when he had taken over Taiwan after the Chinese Civil War with the Communist Party of China. After they lost, they fled to Taiwan and claimed this as their new home. So how did Rainbow Village come about? Mr. Huang found himself to be the last remaining resident of the village after everybody else had left the village. The dilapidated village had actually caught the eye of developers who wanted to build on this land, but it would actually cause this area to be demolished. So Mr. Huang, in fear of losing his home, started painting. Not knowing the fate of his village where he had lived, he began painting with a bird that started in his house. From that initial bird that he had painted in his house, he began painting more and more throughout these houses and actually had painted from top to bottom these 11 houses within this little village that he has kind of created. So if you watch these videos, you can see how meticulously done these paintings were. Though the village is small, every single piece of the village is covered in paint. So the village, originally scheduled for demolition, was found actually by students and faculty from Lingtong University, and the other one was uh, Hong Kong University. The students found the paintings to be full of humorous and childlike caricatures, which brought a lot of people joy and happiness, so they really wanted to see this stay in this vicinity. So one thing led to another, and these students and faculty actually had petitioned the mayor of Taichung to be able to keep this as a place of recognition in Taichung. It succeeded. When I learned that my house was not getting torn down anymore, I was so happy. It inspired me to continue painting. Huang can be quoted as saying, Rainbow Village is beautiful. It's something that I've never really seen before. To think that a man in his 80s and 90s could produce something that was this beautiful from pretty much nothing is kind of inspirational. Yet, just starting with a bird, we can see how one little thing building on another can produce something that becomes a national landmark in a city like Taichung. His art is childlike. It's friendly. It's fun. It's exciting. It brings about a joy when you see it. A town once ready for demolition has now become a place where people of all ages come to see what this 90-year-old man is able to be able to produce. The paintings that he's done, the effort he's put into those things. From top to bottom, this man's heart and soul has been pushed into everything that he does to be able to create this village that he has made himself. Just like us, a little bit of effort can blossom into something that can just blow up and make it so that everybody wants to see the work that you have done. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Subscribe to my channel down below and have a wonderful day.